The project is an innovative cultivation method of growing plants in a water-based nutrient solution. UNODC Program Management Officer Aliandro Mata says the project forms part of the many prisoners' rehabilitation programs run by his organization to promote the rule of law through a range of approaches and target groups. A critical component of this global program is fully dedicated to supporting member states create fair, humane and effective criminal justice systems, thereby fostering the rehabilitation and social reintegration of offenders to provide a second chance in life. Mata added that UNODC is committed to reforming prisons by providing technical assistance to its member states. Speaking during the same event, the World Food Programme representative said in the wake of climate change, his organization identified hydroponics as an agricultural technique that contributes to food security while building up resilience. This technique allows or enables plant growth in areas that are non-fertile or arid, you can see for yourself. And then in terms of cost, it's quite very cost efficient. It doesn't require large pieces of land. The beneficiaries can attest to this. The technique can save up to 90% of water. And then they can save three quarters of space and has a quicker growing cycle compared to traditional agriculture. Mutumba further stated that since the introduction of this technique in Namibia, WPF has set up hydroponics gardens at schools and communities with the help of the government and the office of the First Lady. Commissioner General of the Namibian Correctional Service, Rafael Tuhafeni Hamunyela, said this project was deliberately set up at Khobabe's correctional facility to improve the lives of the state president's decision patients by keeping them busy and speed up the rehabilitation of their mental health. On his part, Omaheke Governor Festus Weitele thanked all parties involved in the creation of this project and hopes that it will not only address the nutritional needs of the offenders, but it will also cater for the other institutions, such as schools and hospitals in the surrounding areas. The project is funded by the state of Qatar as part of the implementation of the Doha Declaration, which aims to help countries achieve positive and sustainable impact by promoting a culture of lawfulness. The Hobabis Correctional Facility is one of the only three special facilities designated for the custody of state president's decision patients.